Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it looks like DC has another bomb incoming. Blue yeah. Beetle. Uh, so this is really bad. Blue Beetle is tracking for less than $20 million in its opening weekend. And they said before they thought it was going to do like 30, 35, 40. Yeah. For, for a, a character nobody's really heard about, the mainstream hasn't really heard about, and for a, a potentially very bad take on this character. Weren't they saying like up to like 17 million was the high? Yeah, that is disastrous. That's Not actually good. worse than I think the Suicide Squad did like 25 or 30. And that was, I want to say, the beginning of the pandemic or end of the pan coming out of the pandemic. I don't know. This is not good. I just know yeah, that. Yeah, this, this is this is bad. But however you slice it, this, this is uh, this is really bad. And this is coming off of Black Adam, Shazam 2, and The Flash. And this is the movie that people are like, because you know we've had doubts about James Gunn being the right guy for Superman, and people are like, well, just wait until Blue Beetle, because that's technically the first of the new DCU. It's going to be fantastic, guys. It's going to be great. I'm like, no, you need to stop the DC movies for several years and then reboot with somebody who gives a shit about the DC movies. Like right now, nobody can tell the difference between the last batch of DC movies and the new batch of DC movies and starting with Blue Beetle of all the characters is not a good idea. No. Not a good idea. But before we get into it any further. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woo uh, so this is coming from comicbookmovie.com. I think they got it from Box Office Pro, but they said this thing is tracking to be a freaking disaster. Yeah, they're, I know it's not supposed to be doing very well. I forget the numbers. Oh, yeah, 12 to 17 million. 12 to 17 million. And this comes out, like, really soon, doesn't it? Like A couple weeks. Yeah, like 2nd of August or something. No, we were at Barbie yesterday, and they ran the trailer for this. But they chose to run the Batman's a Fascist trailer. And oh, I thought no. that was surprising. I was like, why would you run that trailer? And they did. And I'm like, a part of your problem, I think, is because you went around. I mean, as soon as you said that, people are like, oh, my God, it's an agenda movie. Here we go. Yeah. The normies are going to be like, this is stupid. Even if it was meant to be a joke in the movie and it pans out that they fight him on it or whatever. This is the same people who are like all proud about taking off the chuds and like going around being like, you know, ho, 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 you know, I made them angry and my job here is done. And then they had to kind of go back and apologize and be like, please come see this movie. Please come see the movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, except for the star, the, the kid from uh, Cobra Kai. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but he was kind of like, no, suck it. Yeah, let them be mad. Let him be mad. I'm like, okay, dude, when you don't have a career anymore. Well, actually, what he said was, <laughs> you know, some people are going to, you know, let them be upset about it. If they yeah. don't be upset about it, they can be upset about it. If they want to like it, they can like it. It's kind of like, but it was still kind of stupid when they're trying to damage control for him to say that, but... All right. So they said Warner Brothers may have shot itself in the foot by announcing a new cinematic universe for DC Comics heroes while there are still several DC Comics films to be released. No, I don't think so. I don't think people care. I don't think Aquaman 2 is going to do good either. Um, they said uh, since the earnings investor call, it's been one box office bomb after another. Uh, Black Adam, Shazam 2, Fury of the Gods, and The Flash have failed to turn a profit for Warner Brothers. Will Blue Beetle turn out differently? No. The early tracking is... 12 to 17 domestically a to with a uh, total domestic gross of 27 to 55 million. Okay, it's August 18th. I thought it was August 2nd. August 18th. Okay. Nobody cares. Nobody's going to go see, see this. I, I saw the trailer. I didn't even remember. 12 to 17 million dollars for a movie that costs, I think, what, like 150 Ooh. million to make? The total range domestically is 27 to 55 million. Okay, total again, that's domestic. That's not everything, but. Yeah, China's going to love this, going to love this movie. I just, totally gonna love this I'm kind of sad because when I saw the trailer, the second trailer, I liked it better. And Pinky Boo and I were both like, oh, I kind of want to see that. It looks kind of fun. Um, even though yeah, we know the director's a dipshit. I was like, I kind of wanted to see this. And now I'm just like, I don't, I don't know. $120 million budget. $120 million that, for this that, movie. That's a, that's a deal anymore with the budgets the way they've been in Hollywood running out of control lately. Well, it's because they don't have any like big, big stars in it probably for one thing. But I'm like... That is effing dire. I mean, that is that is catastrophic. Uh, tw Twelve to seventeen million. Now, maybe it could surprise people, you know. But again, it's it's leading up to this movie. Any excitement you had was drowned out by controversy. That stupid mm -hmm. Batman's a fascist, which I get's a joke. I get it. It's a joke. Uh, yes, right? I get that. Um, but a lot of people aren't going to get that if you're not watching these videos and you're not on top of pop culture. You might not get that, and you and even though you're like. 
you're going to hear that and you're going to be like, oh my God, it's going to be that kind of movie. And yeah. it's gonna, not going to go. Because as soon as you start throwing fascism around, people are like, oh, for fuck's sake. You know what you do is you hide it like they did with the Barbie movie. They make it out like it's a fun, mm-hmm. a fun family oh, friendly romp. Fascist. They said Barbie's a fascist in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> And then you, then you put all your political messaging in it, hide it in, get people to the theater first, have them spend their money first, and then you then you drop the other pink shoe, right? What they needed to do was get people to this movie first and cool with the politics. And it turned out the director was making all kinds of comments, uh, comments about joking about Trump getting killed and all this other mm-hmm. nonsense. Past, I'm like, yeah. People don't want that. Now, if you just said, hey, this is a cool superhero movie with that kid from Cobra Kai and you're going to have a lot of fun with it, please come see our movie, that would have been fine. Mm -hmm. You know, even then, I don't know if people would have gone because this is not an A list. This isn't even a a B list superhero. Blue Beetle is like a C or D list, you know, DC character. It was an odd choice to go with, but you know. Yeah, yeah, it's not even the Blue Beetle um, that that uh, most you know one time comic book fans know. It's the the newest version of him. He's only been around for like ten years, but yeah, I just think this is like DC is just dead in the freaking water. I mean, if I were David Zaslav, if I were David Zaslav, right, I would look at this and I'd be like, you know what, James, yeah, hey, maybe we're gonna just put a pin in this DC movie universe thing Mm -hmm. because it doesn't seem to be making us money it's actually anti-profit i don't think gun's gonna make it make a difference he's not gonna make a difference people are already complaining about the choices with the superman movie being too cluttered with a bunch of villains and you know they're like wait this is a superman origin story and they're bringing in like everything but the kitchen sink i think they're looking at it as okay well he did you know peacemaker and people liked it on the, the tv and he did gardens of the galaxy volume you know different gardens of the galaxies and they did really well the thing is they were meant to be funny and they were characters that were funny but some of these characters that doesn't that you can't take the same treatment to them and have it work. No, I, I said before, if, if you announced that James Gunn was doing a Lobo movie or he was doing a, a Guy Gardner Green Lantern movie or something like that where the character fits his style, mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah, that sounds pretty good. But he did the Suicide Squad and it freaking bombed too. And it was, I actually liked it. Now, here's the thing that happened with but that. It lends to his style. It lends itself to his style. I did not watch the Suicide Squad until several months after it had been out because I was so soured on it after the first Suicide Squad movie that I just didn't care. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm so sick of freaking Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie is, is Harley Quinn. I'm like, I don't want to hear it. Whatever. I don't care. When I finally got around to watching it begrudgingly because it was on sale on, on Vudu or something, it was like half price. I was like, damn, this was actually a pretty good movie. But... Again, a lot of people, I think they were already soured on what had come before and what's going to happen with this is they're going to look at all these shitty DC movies and they're going to be like, it doesn't matter if it's Superman or not. They're all shitty. Yeah, pretty much. You know, all these DC movies are shitty and they're failing at the box office. So we're not going to see this one. Either. And this is going to do worse than The Flash. I mean, well, The Flash is more known, but I, at this point, I'm like, you're better just to stick it on HBO Max and call it a day. Yeah, pretty much. I'm sorry, Max now. It's this Max. Max. Yeah, they couldn't afford the HBO and Apparently. They had to sell stick it on HBO. Max and call it a day. Because this is getting ridiculous. Are they trying to? So I'm like, okay, is this some like 40 chess? Like they're trying to lose money? Like, hey guys, let's uh to, to make sure we don't have to pay a lot of taxes this year, let's spend like a half a billion dollars on movies that are only gonna bring in like 50 million bucks total. Let's let's do that. And then yeah. we can just write it all off. I, I don't know. I mean, <sighs> I mean, I kind of wanted to see it. I, I still I still might. Well, I'll see what's going on. I maybe do the local theater. I don't think I'm gonna go to the big theater to see it. But um, I'm just, I'm just, I have concerns given comments are made leading up to this. But it seems like nobody cares, or they have concerns as well. It's not just me. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. This, this is kind of a bigger conversation. Like this whole summer, I don't know what to make of things because uh, Mission Impossible didn't do very well. Yeah. Um, Indiana Jones obviously didn't do very well. But here, I don't, I don't think normies are paying attention to all the drama like we are. But you know what? interesting to me other places the outlets and normally a couple people incels and all that crap over not going to see indiana jones you hate strong women they're all like hey you know lucasfilm's striking out and everything they, they messed up indiana jones they messed up willow and star wars and i'm just like you don't say but they're all starting to say it too now and i'm like because it's safe yeah it's now, safe to like, say I took all the arrows it's also undeniable at this point you it's can't cover yes. you can't cover anymore so there's something bigger going on here. I think that, um, you know, just in general, there, there, there are too many of these, these tent pole movies. People are burned out. They can't afford to go see every one of them. And I think people too are like, Hey, I can get better on streaming. 
you know? Mm -hmm. So why, why am I going to spend, you know, 50 bucks to take myself, my girlfriend, whatever, out to go see this movie when it's going to be on HBO max in a couple of months. Anyway, yeah. you know, if I want to watch it by then, I'll forget it exists because something new will come on. And I think people are just tired of superhero movies. I really do. I think they're just burnt out on them. They're like, I don't, I don't care. People say that they're they're not because they're like they're burnt out on bad ones. I'm like, yeah, it's true, but I think but they're, they're all bad anymore. I, I think that's the problem. I think it's like, are you going to, you know, uh, stick your fingers in the pile of shit to find the kernel of corn? Well, <laughs> you know, interesting related the superhero. So they had a new trailer out for the Marvels. Okay, yeah. And besides the fact that apparently it's getting you know ratioed in the in the likes dislikes that are hidden. Um, they're really pushing this, and they they if you go to Twitter uh, under the hashtag the Marvels, it says sponsored by Disney. So Disney's paying money to sponsor to boost the the hashtag on Twitter, trying to boost awareness of this. We know they're putting Ms. Marvel on ABC, yeah. and they're doing some other things that they're going to try really hard. So they're doing like they did with Little Mermaid, and they're going to start throwing all their money at this to make it stick because um, it's their last big Marvel movie for this year, and they've done so poorly. Um, they're really going to push, push hard on this one. I don't know if it's going to work. I, I don't think it's going to work. People don't like superheroes and they really don't like uh, Captain Marvel. I'm sorry. No. Um, the only thing that could actually save it, believe it or not, is Ms. Marvel being likable. But they're going to look at this like this is just a very special episode of Ms. Marvel. We have it on Disney Plus. It doesn't cost us extra. Mm -hmm. Now you have it on ABC for free. It doesn't cost us any extra to you know Ms. Marvel to watch it. And people are just like, yeah, I don't care. Well, the, don't yeah, care. what's going to happen is if people don't go to the theaters and they're going to have to put it on their streaming to make their money yeah. back. Yep. So people just don't go and then they're like, well, I'll get it cheaper. Yep. That's exactly it. All right. So we're going to wrap this up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is bad. I didn't think it was going to do this bad. This no, is really bad. No, I didn't really think it, that's bad. low. I mean, and that, again, that's a low early estimate. We're like a month away. It could totally change. They thought the Mario Brother movie wasn't going to do that great either. And then it completely kicked ass. So it's completely possible that that could change. I'm just pointing that out. Yeah, so they're saying Turtles is going to do better, actually. Which is, Haunted Mansion is going to do better. Wow. That's I, I'm excited about the Haunted Mansion, but that's very that one's a very niche movie, personally. I mean, I think it's niche. <laughs> Freaking Gran Turismo is going to do better. We saw a trailer for that. I'm like, this movie looks like shit. I mean, honestly, it looks like most of the movies are doing shit. Oh, not yeah. Just that. It just seems like people are, are just over Hollywood. August is bad. August is always bad. This one looked like pretty terrible. But I, just think, people, I think people are over Hollywood. I think they are. I think so, they are. And the, and the strikes aren't helping. But and anyway. It, Anyway, let's wrap this up. We're going to wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.